Well, this morning, a big send off breakfast, pancakes, eggs, you name it, fill in those bellies as the kids get ready to hit the road. Hartsfield Elementary School Chorus is on their way to the big stage of Carnegie Hall. They left Tallahassee this morning and will be in New York City through Sunday. ABC 27 Sunrise anchor Brian Jackson has more on how the entire community is coming together to make this possible. They got to go by any means necessary. They have to go. Christique Henry is one of several volunteers who woke up bright and early to help send off the students from Hartsfield Elementary. They got a big breakfast with pancakes and orange juice. And it's just one of the ways the community made all of this happen. It's beyond words how this is going to transform their life and what they're going to see when they're there and how, what they're going to experience. You, I mean, you can't ask for anything more. Students all packed and ready to go. And their parents loving every moment. The group then took a moment to reflect on how they made it this far. New York, here we come. The chorus earned an invite to Carnegie Hall by submitting a blind audition. The price tag of this trip, more than $65,000, which was a challenge that choir director Arniqua Jackson took on and conquered in just a few short months. The community has been incredible. Um, if it wasn't for the Tallahassee community and also um, neighboring counties out of state, we also had an international donor. Hartsfield is a Title I school. And this opportunity puts a spotlight on all the talent of not only their teachers, the amazing kids who worked hard to make it to the top. So for these kids to leave the city of Tallahassee and go to the Big Apple, it is it is tremendous. And not just go to the Big Apple, they're actually going to be featured on the world stage, Carnegie Hall. Bye. In Tallahassee, Brian Jackson, ABC 27. In addition to performing at Carnegie Hall, they'll tour the Empire State Building, visit the Statue of Liberty and the 9-11 Museum.